Seven days in a tiny caravan that doesn't even have a toilet may not be everyone's idea of luxury, but it's this simplicity that's drawn tourists from all over the world to the back roads of County Mayo. I suppose it is Spartan in a way, but that's what, uh, that's what attracts people to it. We had two people fly in in their own private jets to Knock Airport to come here for a week. Deirdre Nestor and her family have been running Mayo horse-drawn caravans for the past 12 years in collaboration with a number of local farmers. People travel from all over the world to sample this gently paced holiday. It's usually evening time when people arrive to us. Uh, later that evening, all of our new families meet together in the lounge and we have a little introductory meeting. Oscar, super job. Then we give them their maps. We talk through the, the different farmers that they're going to stay with and the, the types of farming that's done there as well. Without the farmers and the farm stops, we'd have nothing. So they really are the, the backbone of the, of the whole thing. Relax, 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 Molly. Relax, Molly. Okay. Oh, we were watching a Lassie film, and Sophie asked if uh, travellers still lived in horse-drawn caravans. I said there were probably just a few left. And uh, then they asked whether or not we could do it. So I said, uh, yeah, possibly we'll have a look. And we had a look on the internet, and that's uh, basically how we found the holiday. It'd be a bit different. These two know more about it than I do, so I'm, I'm relying on them for the next week. We usually stay with them for about 40 minutes on the first journey, just to make sure that they're comfortable. A lot of people, uh, as you can imagine, are that little bit nervous on the first day. They, most of them have no experience with horses as well. So it takes a little while for them to get comfortable with uh, being in charge of an animal that size. So you've got somebody from a different country mm -hmm. who may not speak the same language, meets a horse for the first time in their lives mm -hmm. and you put them on a road and say good luck see you in seven days pretty not, much does that not freak people out well no first of all the horses are multilingual at this stage as well so they speak all the languages they're quite happy um, we see them every day as well we see them before they start their journey every day just to check that the horse is okay and it's well tacked up and we also see them once they've arrived at the new far farm to make sure everything's okay as well so we do keep a good eye on them during the week the horses know their jobs very well it's actually very simple you just sit back and relax enjoy the journey you just keep the horse company while they get you there you know Visitors have plenty of time to explore the history and beauty of South Mayo at their leisure. It's something that's proved particularly attractive to people from the continent. We're lucky to have the, the European market, so that has stayed strong for us this year, luckily. Uh, the Irish, I find, are, are quite wussy, actually. They don't appreciate what's outside their, their own front doors. We get very few Irish people, about 2% every year that come to us are Irish. Uh, we're hoping that'll improve, uh, you know, as ecotourism becomes a bit more um, popular as well and people are a bit more worried about their carbon footprint. So how much will a holiday like this set you back? The initial cost for a caravan, understanding of course that they sleep for four people, you're talking about 800, maybe 900 a week, uh, depending on when exactly people come. But once you're here, the caravan is self-catering, you can do all of your own cooking. There aren't lots of extra costs along the way. Apart from paying the farmers that you stay with a, a small pitch fee every night, there are no more costs. Each night the tourists hitch up their caravans on a different farm along the route. How are you Patricia? Hello Dara, you're welcome. Thanks you? a lot now. God, you're very busy in here. Yeah, I'm just getting a few tomatoes ready for my tea this evening. Lovely. So I am. Um, I wish we could all do that now, in fairness. <laughs> Dara, I'd love to have a chat with you, but I have to go. There's a caravan coming. Fair enough. Well, you work away, We'll so. catch you later. OK. OK, thanks. And how was your trip? Twelve years ago, Patricia Jennings realised that a small beef farm in the west of Ireland needed an alternative source of income, and so she was one of the first farmers to sign up with Mayo horse-drawn caravans. It's part-time, it's uh, yes. two uh, days a week that the caravans come, and it's ideal. It was awesome, yeah. Well, it was just superb. 
very easy actually and just so relaxing you would not believe. I can hardly remember which day it is actually. Like all farmers along the route, Patricia had to build some basic facilities for her guests. It did cost a good bit of money at the beginning, but like you, you, like, you like to have a nice good product, you know, if you're um, setting up for tourism. Like there's no point in not having a good product because at the end of the day, you know, the tourist, they expect value for their money. But there's much more to this business than providing facilities, as sheep farmer and publican Kevin Hughes has learned. This is not a job for everybody. You need time for it. Because people like to, when they come in, you have to spend time with them, talk to them. And the best thing you can give out of anybody is your time. They're living in built-up areas, in cities and towns in, in, in Europe and England. And like the Irish people, as, as yet, they're living most, they have contact with rural, rural life. But these people have gone away from it, like they're built up. And so they love to get the sun in their eyes and walk out on the road. And everybody wastes them. So everybody has time with them, passes by. The care, the tractors, the school children have to come out, they wait them, they can't understand this. This is, for them, this is what it's all about. People make time for them, and time is, a, say, is very important. Well, it doesn't get much more authentic than this, a horse-drawn caravan in rural Mayo in the lashings of the rain. It's exactly what tourists expect when they come here. The only thing that's missing, I suppose, is a pint of plain down the local, where I think I should be heading right now. Give you up there. Out of the rain and the warmth of Hughes's pub, the atmosphere is decidedly upbeat. And despite the difficult economic climate, so is Deirdre. It's his first time. It's okay. It's his first time. time. I'm very confident about the future. Again, it's the type of holiday I think that is going to get more and more popular. It's getting back to nature. It's a environmentally friendly holiday. It's an easy holiday. It's quite an economic holiday as well when times get hard for a full family as well. So I'm quite confident that in the little niche that we have in the market that we'll stay strong.